Welcome back, everyone. Oh, it is November 22nd. Let's see what is going on in the hives. At our reflectix, we some of our lids have this reflectix on here. We use this. Check out this. So we have these upper entrances right here. We don't really use these anymore. But we used to build them into our lids. But as you can see, it's pretty cool. They have this propolized dob to block the airflow. They've they've really done a number on this it's pretty neat how they are the masters masters of thermal regulation right here just all that they built this propolis up around these top entrances here all right let's check in and see what they're how they're doing this hive right here we just took out of a 10 frame it was only about five frames a piece so we transferred her over into a nuke to have her do better during the winter time you know keeping them tight that's the goal and we're gonna check these Let's see how far they're spaced out it looks like they're one two three four five six six frames of bees so they have this completely filled with with food that frame over there was empty so they could use a, a little bit of food but this one is is good we'll switch that frame out I'll bring the next time I'm out here I'll bring a, a frame from our freezer and get it put out so this one again is a food frame it's completely full nice heavy frame so I think we're gonna leave these in here we're not gonna move them there should be just fine oh yeah really nice nice full frame so we were down 28 degrees this morning it was a, a freeze uh, and it's currently about oh, 4 30 in the afternoon the sun's setting and won't about another hour and it'll be gone it's currently about 60 58 60 somewhere in there degrees Fahrenheit a food frame a nice Cluster. It doesn't look like she has any any brood on her. But they've left this they've left this part open right here. It's full of food right here and there's pollen down here. They've left this open for her to lay in. That's a typical sign of a hive right now is they're getting real small brood, brood clusters uh, you know we don't feed very heavy going into winter we let them have this brood break it doesn't bother me you know we want to make sure that we're careful with our not see our queen oh here you go she is right here she's marked white and she has a brood, cat brood, all right through here. And she has young larvae and eggs. And a wee bit more right through there. So you don't want to keep these out too long. It's going to be nice going into the, to the week. I'm going to be in the 60s. But lows are still chilly. And some 
hatching brood here they'll probably cover that up and she'll probably keep on that little frame right there that one doesn't have much of anything we're gonna turn this one around they haven't drawn that out put the brood together like that and this one's a food frame so they got plenty of food on them not too bad this size of cluster is kind of a borderline uh, keeping it in here we could put it in a in a nuke but they will be they should be just fine here not to disturb them too much so but they have plenty of food for the size that they are they got good food on here go ahead and scrape this burr comb off get it out of the way So that's what we're seeing in our hives right now in on November 22nd, end of November. They're looking good. Like I said, they have these all propolized up to where they like it to vent how they want to vent. We did a lesson, if you follow us on Instagram, about top entrances and we are doing away with them. We don't find there's any benefit to them the research and everything that we've been going along with I, I, I like them uh, but the bees just prefer the little entrance so that's what we're going to be doing we'll be plugging them up we're when these lids go away, we'll, we're just not making any more with the holes in here for the top. All right, well that's how the colonies are looking. The end of end of November. Uh, if you're one that does oxalic acids and stuff like that, you can uh, you can go ahead and go and get this, or even wait until you know around Christmas time or even after Christmas time, and they might be a completely broodless. And this is a good time though when they are shrinking the, the cluster size down. They don't have a lot of brood on them to really knock those mites out if you, uh, if you need a treat. So uh, keep that in mind if you, if you want to really take a, take a hard hit on those mites. Alright, well I appreciate you guys watching. We will catch you on the next one. See ya.